Okay, well we're still doing 1C and to get back to question 8, the reason we needed to add 8 out here in the field is because the total number of apartments is 60, so we had to make sure we accounted for all 60 apartments. Let's see if we've done that. 8 and 12 is 20 plus 27 is 47 plus 13 is 60 and, and so we've accounted for all the apartments. Now let's go on to question 9. <clears throat> and uh, I'll let you read the question. But some of flight attendants are men. That is in standard form. The next thing we have to do is uh, a Venn diagram of that. And so, there's, those are overlapping sets. And here we have the set of flight attendants. And here we have the set of men. <coughs> and so, any one in this uh, uh, location is both a flight attendant and a man. Anyone in this location outside this man circle is a flight attendant and a woman. Anyone out here is a, uh, well they're not a man because they're not in the circle, so they're a woman, female, and they're not a flight attendant. Now let's do uh, number 10. And we have to do a uh, Venn diagram of athletes and high school students. So, here we are, have the set. First of all, we have the universal set. Then we have these are all high school students, and these are the set of athletes, and some high school students are athletes. <coughs> uh, now, uh, athletes includes high school athletes, college athletes, professional athletes. That's why they're overlapping sets, and one set is not a subset of the other, strictly speaking. Now, the next one is fish and birds, number 11. So let's deal with that. And fish and birds. So here's fish. Here's birds. And uh, notice, I don't know of any flying, uh, flying uh, fish. Or uh, or birds that's, uh, that are fish. So these are disjointed sets. You're either a fish, you're a bird, or you're something else, some other type of creature. <clears throat> now let's go on to the next uh, number twelve. Use the braces to write the members of the set or state that it has no members. The integers from 4 to 8, well there are 4, that includes 4 and 8 then. And that's 4, 5, 6, 7, and 8, and that's C, yes. Choose the uh, the set that, uh, smallest set that includes this uh, value, the given value. So it's the square root of 11, and that's a uh, it's not a rational number, it's not a whole, it's not a natural, so it's among the set of real numbers. That's the smallest set it belongs to. And look at page 39, you'll see the appropriate uh, diagram. Uh, uh, for 14, negative 5. Well, negative 5 is not a natural number uh, because of the negative sign. It's, it is a rational number. It is a not a whole number because of the negative sign, and it is an integer, 
So uh, the integers are subsets of the rationals. So the smallest set of numbers negative 5 belongs to is d, an integer. For number 15, 13. Oh, look at that. That's a natural number. And let's see, it's a real number, it's a whole number, it's a natural number B. Page 39, you'll see that diagram. And minus 2 pi. Well, that is a real number. It's not a rational number, it's not an integer, because it's a repeating uh, decimal that never, excuse me, it's not a repeating decimal. It's a decimal that uh, never repeats. And it's a, uh, it's not an integer, nor is it a whole number, but it is a real number. And finally, A, uh, decide whether the statement makes sense. A and B are disjoint sets. So an object is either a member of set A or a member of set B, but not a member of both. Well, it doesn't make sense, and here's why. Uh, because it could be neither A or B. Think of our fishes and birds and the set of all creatures. Well, a horse is neither a fish nor a bird, but it is a creature, you see, so it's not a member of either set. And we're done with C.